I know I probably don't look like what I'm going through right now, but it's safe to say I'm having national fever. National fever, like seriously. I really don't look like what I'm going through right now. But um, uh, surviving this country, eh? Ha! Osama! He have done it before, he can still do it again. Wipe away your tears, this is not the end of your life. I bring you good news, 2023 is your year. Who never hear, go hear, who never see, go see. If I hear your amen, God will remember your matter. Surviving this country, uh, this past two weeks has been hell. See, I don't even know to start from. I don't even know what to say. I'm laughing now, but I'm not laughing. <laughs> ah. Ah, it's three days to election. Whoa, our story must change in this country. Our story must change. Ah, ah. hey, God. If anybody would have told me that things would get to this stage, I wouldn't have ever believed it. Like, come on, like what? Like, seriously. Cash is gold right now. See, there's now there's now there's a difference between cash and money. There's a difference between cash and money. You can have money and not have cash. You are still broke. I want to that tired me. I'm tired. I am officially tired. You can have money. I can have you can you can have money and not have cash. But you cannot have cash and not have money. <laughs> because like jokes apart, it's been really terrible these past two weeks. It has been really terrible. If you know any Nigerian right now, pick up your phone, place a call, and just check up on the person's mental health. Some, I think sometime last week, yeah, it, it got to me real bad. Like, you know, at first when it started, you know, okay, cash was scarce. No, at first it was, the new note was scarce. Okay, uh, well, then the new note is scarce. Okay, let's make do with what we have, right? Okay, then the old notes too became scarce. And then, okay, the old notes is cash, okay, uh, no wahala, okay, cashless policy, we we'll pay with card, transfer, and then transfers were not working. Transfers were, were hanging on different places. People that had access bank could not access their accounts. Where, ma, where, is, where is the money people that put it, where my bank put it, where is, where is their money? Kuda. Could have been for that time, yo. Could have was showing people better. Now they trust back. You can't even trust them. You will just transfer money, beggar one like this. It will just hang in the balance. 
between you, the sender and the receiver, you don't even know where the money is. First bank carried last. Zenith of market. Union Bank, they were divided. In fact, <laughs> ah, you be a cop, you be a grand. They went a step back from new app to old app for their customers. Really, I don't even know where to start from, but it's the, this thing just kept on graduating. And you know, at first, when it was like, okay, okay, let's. We can still survive, you know. You know, Nigerians are survivors. Like we just have to find a way to live. Come on. So you know, everybody kept on devising plans and means for survival or of survival, and how to you know just get the essential commodities they need and also get to their places of work. But it wasn't even it's not even cutting it. So three or four days ago, right. It was, you know, graduating, but I, I, as in, I had to trek from school to the market after classes, and while journeying to the market, okay, now trekking is not my problem, right? Because I thought that I've, you know, entered transport, but trekking is not my problem. I now got to the market, and I couldn't even see. I, I probably trekked because I needed to ask every POS agent on the road if they had cash, and they didn't have cash. The ones that had cash needed to cut my hair. Don't they need to trade something for something? I was like, what's going on? Eh, what's going on? Not to give me one thousand naira and I should give you three hundred naira in exchange. So I'm left to seven hundred naira. So I know it's not their fault, quite alright, because they went through hell and back to get what they are actually trying to give people. But ah, kilo day. Now that my journey to the market, right? I was suddenly feeling feverish. All of a sudden, I was just feeling feverish. I was having this very mad headache. Like my tummy was rumbling. It was like it was like I was suddenly having running stomach. I was I was feeling sick automatically, and I was just asking myself. I was like, Am I sick? No, no, no I can't. Can't be malaria. Can't be typhoid. Like, and when anybody called me that day. To testify that I was just I was just sounding so down, so ill. And someone was like, I would change to see the doctor, what's going on? Are you feeling fine? Can you on? And I still could I was like, I'm okay, but I still couldn't I knew that something was wrong with me, but I couldn't place what exactly was wrong with me until I got home. And when I got home, the first thing I said was I'm having national fever. Like that should actually be termed a sickness for Nigerians, national fever, national headache. Because it had gotten that bad, like I was feeling it in my blood. <laughs> and man, it's terrible, it's terrible. If you can relate to this, just let me know in the comment section. Please, how are you coping? How are you me? How are you coping? What's going on now? Eh? <laughs> right now? Just sit down in your house and mind your business. It's terrible. It's terrible. But it's all good. There's a light at the end of the tunnel and the light is this election. Guys, we 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 have to do something about this situation. We can't just allow allow this kind of things to be, you know. It is well. Welcome to Lolita's Ville.